it's 5 30 it's tom pemberton dairy man o'clock i am off now getting a car drive to bury st edmunds which is in suffolk where class hq is to get me coat so we'll see what's interesting there everyone gonna say hello that telly's massive but it looks tiny when you film it Uh, class HQ which is like the man's depot as well it's a nice rake wonder is it shop soiled and going cheap it's like what we had for the tractor run but the one we had was wrapped wasn't it like the funny metallic colour all the different seats chassis massive isn't it that's the same chassis from under there looks bigger when it's got no wheels on randomly <sighs> first model I've seen with the Vario header yeah, the flex head yeah Look at this shop. It's about all I can afford at the moment after buying fertilizer. Go out here and I'll show you the from up here. It's proper high. <laughs> and then if you look at here, you've got the man's heart centre, is it? Have Rob, who is the combine product manager, you might think what's he doing in the field, but Rob's going to be driving some of the machines for you today. Patrick from our academy and also our mastery team. So, half of Patrick's time, he's doing sales training, telling our sales guys why the tractor is wonderful, and the other time he's out in the field demonstrating them. We've also got Colin over there, who's one of our regional sales managers over in the West Midlands and North Wales, but one of the few RSMs that we can actually put on any. Smells lovely that grass. Which is where we have the joint joint venture with Agco. In line effectively. The conditioner though, you see here it's a much more sort of fluffed up swath, there's a lot more air in it. So the conditioner helps to dry it, one because the tine tries to break the little waxy layer but it also leaves it a lot more sort of fluffy to try and get the air through it whereas that is sort of flat on the ground. But you really sort of see the difference in the two of them here side by side. Emily, 
play Chicky with the mower. What I'll do a lot, I'll do a little. Irregular swaths, the tether really is the root cause for any irregular swath because I'll try and get a slow motion out when he comes back, innit? I've been changed it so if you jam it up, you can hit a hydraulic spool and drop the straw out the bottom. Crawl and spoon it. There's the side effect as well. Ball and fill having a ride. It's like you're in a combine, but with no header on. What's that, an 8 metre swath? That would be, yeah. So, exact same engine that you'll have an 8900. 790 horsepower, is that a, a man engine? Managing 790 yours, straight six. Straight six? Changed away from the V8s uh, a few years ago, but you still get, like, get a hot pipe. Is that because they were dropping torque. valves? Yeah. Hot, higher torque level, essentially. How short's it cutting the grass to? 15mm. Right. 
moment. 15 mil. 15 mil. All that there in front of us is going through a 15 mil space. Wow. It's just like shoving his sofa through a letterbox, isn't it? Camera spout. Spout cam. One forty five. One forty five on it. go on the front, they are the same. What is it? So the grass pickup you see here is the same for a four hundred horsepower in forty as it is for a nine hundred and twenty five horsepower in nine ninety. So standard with a double roller top breast, hydraulic folding wheels, the central wheel we see Good sleep in there, it's massive. Yeah. It's awesome warm. If you want it to be in there. It's actually quite cool because it that's the sucking air that way, isn't it? Yeah. 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 You can't take that out of Take, take corn cracker out. Yeah, it's a beast. Six, and then the bigger machine to use MAN V8, and then everything smaller. So no, a nine. I'll buy my own engine car. No, no. So everything like nine sixty for nine thirty, and eight eighty. So every other chopper in the world's a class Jaguar, apparently. Class sell more forages than all the competition put together. So a camera on the spout you see, so you can see when it's going in the trailer. This next bit might not make much sense because it's me saying I'm going and I've had a really enjoyable day, but really you've only seen a tiny bit of what I've seen today because we've seen combines, we've seen the parts centre, we've seen all that sort of stuff. So you'll see that over the next coming days anyway. But so that was a really good day at Class HQ, playing with some of the machines, looking how they all work, seeing what's new with them, things like that. So thanks to Class for inviting me. And um, it's amazing some of the engineering that goes into some of the equipment. Sorry tonight's video is late, but I just had a long drive back from here very impressive building anyway thanks for watching the birthday bumper is now i've had to do it digitally and i will see you all tomorrow